Hi everybody, so there's two pores in this one and these are the colors in the first pore on the bottom and then I added a second pore on the top and these are the colors for that. That DecoArt Extreme Sheen Sapphire is what made a lot of the beautiful cells that you're about to see. I also use this really gorgeous canvas Master's Touch Grandeur Collection 16 by 20. It's a little expensive, but really beautiful. Thank you to my supporter, Andrea E. She said that she finds my work inspiring and the poetry. So if you find my work inspiring and want me to bring more art videos for you, please support my channel. You can do that to the link in um, the PayPal in the description box. And even small donations help. You can also visit my shop with prints or paintings like this one. This copper stunner, you guys, look how pretty it is. It's very, um, I, I would say it's a quite busy painting. So uh, at the same time, it's there's a lot to look at. It's one of my earlier pieces and it's when I first started doing balloon rolls. That copper is the Golden's High Flow Copper. That painting is not wet, it is finished with that beautiful, glossy, high gloss uh, varnish technique that I've been using, and I'm just in love with it. <laughs> you can make it yours by visiting my shop if you like at heathermaderart.com. There's a picture of the whole thing. And um, it's a special piece, you know, Christmas is coming up soon, guys, so if you... Um, I've been thinking about buying a painting for somebody. My plan is to start populating my shop with all sorts of different sizes and prices so you will be able to afford to share art with someone you love. So that is my plan. So I'm going to be trying to paint like crazy in the next month or two. Anyway, so let's chat about this painting. You know, one of the first things I wanted to show you, because it was so luxurious, look at the golden's gold. Look at that. I just was mixing it, not purposefully, even on camera. Um, I just decided I wanted to put some in there, but look at how luscious and delicious the golden's heavy body gold is. I just mixed it with Floetrol. You know, the heavy body paints, and I have the th kind of thinner Floetrol right now, I just mix one to one. So um, that's what I've been mixing the heavy body paints with. I've been mixing my fluid acrylics with Oatrol lately. Oatrol. And it's very thick and rich and creamy, so it works perfect for the fluid acrylics. Now I just put a bed of that gold down, just literally a ring of gold, and then I'm pouring this dirty pour over the top of it. You know, another artist had said to me that my paintings remind her of Aboriginal art. And then she showed me a bunch of um, photos of cave art from Aboriginals. And it just got me to thinking about um, just that, just the whole feeling of the cave paintings. And that is actually what inspired this particular painting. You know, it's a beautiful part of connecting with people through my art that I think was unexpected. I really didn't imagine all of the little friendships and connections I would make, whether they are um, clients who are collecting my work or other artists as we talk about our techniques and everything. But one of my great and beautiful collectors of my work, she said, I hope you don't um, think, you know, that I'm buying too many of your paintings. And she has, you know, quite a little handful. And I said, you know what? Honestly, I think that I, 
I still can't believe how much joy it brings me that someone even wants what I create. And I envision my art in a collection in your home. Paintings that I will never feel or touch or see again. And it brings a sense of belonging to the world somehow. Maybe that's silly, but I do feel that way, like a piece of me is somehow out there, being loved and adored and beautifying someone's space every day and serving a grander purpose. And I know I feel that way when I look at the art that's on my wall and there isn't a day that goes by that I don't adore it, revel in its beauty and am in awe of its creation, especially when it was created by somebody else. And, you know, it's a cool thing to have these connections with other people through uh, the experience of creating something beautiful and sharing it. And, you know, I hope one day I will be able to make a living um, doing art. That, that is a dream of mine. And I was very close to being able to do that before my world was upturned. Um, but, you know, we're, um, I will endure and I do see that for my future eventually. And it's um, the beautiful connections that I make with people that keeps me inspired and uh, keeps moving forward this um, wonderful process and I do have to say thank you to all of you for the ways in which you all support and love my art and me so thank you so much if I haven't said it today um, <clears throat> so this painting you know I am not truthfully excited about the colors but I was thinking about the aboriginal colors of cave paintings and it is very, very, very earthy. <clears throat> they have like a lot of rust colors. and So I started adding some um, colors around the edges thinking, well, I'm going to brighten this up a little bit and see what happens. So that was my original plan. And then I wanted to find a way to marry the two together, so I decided to do some balloon rolls. And honestly, <laughs> I still was not loving this. I love the textures it was making, but I'm pretty much hating this painting at this point. And um, so I decided to do a second pour. You can see it was quite high up there. Um, I think I said there was burnt sienna in this, but actually it looks more like Van Dyke Brown, so please forgive me if you see a little difference um, from the colors that I told you that I used in the second pour. I love the image right there. Doesn't it look like the sun? Part of me wishes I could have kept it, but of course there's too much paint in the center, but one thing about using the Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallics is that you get these gorgeous cells. And the blue particularly is just stunning. This painting turns out to be so interesting and I haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna do to finish it, but I love the look it's creating of the blue it's so oceanic and it's almost like you get to see the underside of like a coral or the overview of a coral reef it's kind of the impression that I get see a little brown sort of island running through there and then you get kind of like a coral reef. I also at one point see this giant beautiful fish, like a very tropical looking fish. And um, man, if I was a better embellisher, 
I would love to embellish it and make it into a huge tropical fish, but you know, never say never. I definitely can still learn. You know, I'm not that old of a dog. <laughs> I can still, at 45, I can still figure it out, but I don't want to do a ton of balloon rolls here. All I'm trying to do right there is just stretch out a little bit of paint over the edge. I love that part right there. Isn't it cool? I had to just take a second and point that part out to you guys. You can see how delicate and gentle I'm being with the balloon rolls because I'm trying not to disturb any of that gorgeous blue as it continues to develop. And there's so much beautiful depth in it. I love the way it looks. And it almost looks like a coastline. And that's where I got the name of this painting, Aboriginal Coast, because it almost looks down there like this, the sand and then the ocean runs up against it and the waves. I just can't explain how much <clears throat> depth is in this piece and how calming and serene it has of a feeling to it. I really, really enjoyed making this one and I can't wait to show you the close up. So see all the beautiful metallics? Some of that is the gold that I put. Remember the pool of gold that I put underneath the very first pour? Some of that is that coming through. And then there's the whole painting from the side. And there's the fish. Do you guys see the tropical fish? Wouldn't it be amazing to make that into something? I'd love to embellish that, but... Um, see there's the close-up of that one area I really love it and then I just want you to see you know at night when the lighting is bad I'll take the painting into my kitchen so you can actually see all of the beautiful cells and the depth see how some of the um, burnt sienna and the Titan buff and the gold comes shimmering through that blue so it adds like a layer of depth to the whole piece i'm going to finish this with my high gloss varnish because it's going to keep the metallics shimmering like that and i'm very excited to finish it once it completely cures this is a gorgeous piece and it's still available Although you would have to visit me at heathermaderart.com or my email, which I believe is in my description box if you are interested because it uh, is not listed in my shop yet. So you have to contact me directly. Thanks guys. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.